How do deer know which trees and plants they want to browse versus the ones that they don't want to browse? Deer can taste and possibly smell the nutrient content of foliage. Not only can deer tell the tree species that have that nutritious foliage, they can also tell individual trees that have more nutrients in their foliage. So I did some forest management here about seven years ago, and when I did it, I supplemented that natural regeneration by planting 100 white oaks. Here in Vermont, we have a lot of areas with deer overpopulation, but not to the extent that we see south of us. And so I didn't yet understand the importance of protecting trees from deer browse. And I thought that I would just plant a lot of trees and that surely the deer wouldn't find them all. But after one summer, 98 of those 100 white oak trees were browsed to death by deer. Deer have these browsing preferences. So we have certain species of trees and plants that we call preferred browse species that deer really like to eat certain other species of trees and plants that we call non-preferred species. A species around here that's like deer's favorite is northern white cedar, arborvitae. And if you look across the landscape anywhere with white-tailed deer, you'll see all the cedar bushes will have this browse line. All the foliage up to where deer can reach will be browsed to death. How do deer know which trees and plants they want to browse versus the ones that they don't want to browse? Part of this can be done visually. The animals will have a search image for certain species that they like to eat. But another part of this is done through taste and smell, which brings me back to this white oak tree. Because not only can deer tell the tree species that have that nutritious foliage, they can also tell individual trees that have more nutrients in their foliage. In the case of trees that we plant, which often come from a nursery, their foliage is so much more rich with all of these nutrients because they've been raised in a nursery bed and they've been getting fertilized. And so deer will target those trees first. So on a landscape where there are far more deer than our habitat can sustain, it's really important that we understand those browsing preferences and that we protect those planted trees and those preferred browse species if we wanna retain them on the landscape.